Hello, it's Bini here. Today I'd like to cover one tool that I don't always use, but then when it's useful, I like to bring it out and it can really, really be very useful and especially useful in the current period where things look like going up, but yet, you know, it's still in a downtrend. So what's the tool? It's a 200 day moving average line. So let me just show you how to use it. Right, so this is my chart on um, A50. See this thick line here? So this is a 200 moving average. Now, if you put it in a day chart, it will be 200 day. If you switch that into a week chart, so it will be 200 weeks. So that moving average will change because then it moves with price. It's calculation of price in the past 200 periods. So in the past 200 day, if you put it into a day chart, and the past 200 weeks, if you put it into a week chart. Now, why is this very useful? Because it gives you the average price of what the prices are behaving all right, in the past 200 days or 200 weeks. All right, so it gives you that average price of the 200 periods. Now, this is a you know, moving average that's universal. People are using it. So it could be because that many people are using it, therefore it becomes true. Or it, it's because that it is useful and therefore people are using it and therefore it becomes true. Alright, whatever it is, right, the key thing is that let's take a look on this moving average, 200 days moving average across the different instrument. Alright, so first we know that, for example, A50 moved up from the low, right, and has been actually going up. And why is it pausing right now? That's because it's the 200 day moving average. Take a look, right? Previously, the A50 was resisted near to that 200 days moving average. The question is right now whether it will be resisted again. So therefore, right, we need to look at price action. Take a look into HSI. HSI is again right now being resisted in that 200 day moving average very nicely. We saw a reaction, which is a red color candle here at the 200 days moving average resisting that. And then how about you know, for example, uh, the HS Tech, same fake reaction near the 200 days moving average. The Hang Seng China Enterprise, same thing, right? So there is a reaction near to that 200 days moving average at this moment. The question will always be, will this be resisted or will price break above it? All right, so I'm just going to talk about how you detect that in the next video, right, that I'm going to do after my holiday. Okay, hopefully it's, um, you know, uh, I'm on time. Right, so let's take a look into STI. STI is slightly above that 200 days moving average, but bear in mind that price can cluster slightly above it, slightly below it. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that we need to take a look into the reaction around this 200 days moving average. Now, and lastly, let's take a look into the US indexes. This is SPY, the ETF of S&P 500. Isn't it amazing? It's now near to that 200 days moving average. And it's being reacted okay so therefore again we take a look into whether price is going to be resisted or it's going to be it's going to break out of this 200 days and you'll be amazing to find that's true also in the other indexes as well and hey that's a chart on the dollar index again it is clustering around that 200 days moving average isn't it amazing? So the market is right now parked at this 200 days moving average. Whether it's up or down, it really, really, I think, depends on um, the coming FOMC meeting, all right, especially the forward-looking statements that's going to come out from this FOMC meeting. Then how do you add in your moving average? First, you go to this place, which is indicator tag here. Then key in your moving average. You can just key in moving. You should see moving average here, right? You can choose moving average, which is a simple moving average, or you can choose a moving average exponential. I'm just going to key in. I mean, click that moving average. So when you have that moving average, you're going to find that you will add in another one more moving average here. Click on this view button, which is the setting button, and that should pretty much um, set in the moving average. You are able to choose, for example, whether you want to have simple, exponential, weighted or volume weighted for example a smooth moving average right then choose the length as 200 
And then uh, under the vis visibility, you might want to visualize that only in the day chart or in the week chart. Or in the style, you can choose to how your moving average should appear. All right, the color of your moving average, the thickness, as well as the pattern associated with this moving average. All right, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up or please do follow this channel. Thank you. Thank you.